Okay, so I've got I've grinded up a little bit to get 33 lives, and then I've got to try and get 150 dreamstones on here. So <laughs> let's see how long this takes. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! I think I did it. Did that count? Please say that counted. I hope that counted. I'm going to try and see, go all the way to the very end, try not to miss anything. Please say that counted. <gasps> yes! Yes, I did it! Oh my god, okay. Jesus. Right, there's something I need to explain about that. I know I've said before, I've said before, like, am I absolutely sure that this is even possible? None of this 150 Dreamstones so far has been more difficult than that just was. So I started off with 33 lives and now I have 19 lives, so I lost over 10 lives. Um, just, That was just so ridiculous. That was so difficult that I was genuinely like, maybe this is impossible. And either I'm missing something or they've made it so that it literally can't be done. I looked it up online and I could not find a single video with the Wii version of Daughter Phantom Isle that did 150 of this. Maybe there must be some out there, but I could not find them. I could only find the original one that did it and it looked so much more easier on the original one. So I was like, has the remade version just made it impossible? Because it seemed like like the 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 timing of the mirror spirit was different in the original one versus this one and it was just so it was literally like you have like half a second to grab that last dreamstone it was ridiculous so i managed to do it i can't believe it that was really difficult <laughs> now Oh, oh, whoops, I accidentally... <laughs> I entered there at the same time, which I didn't mean to. But regardless, okay. Let's continue on to the next level. I've never played. Absolutely, definitely have never played past this point. Okay. Ooh, pretty. What is this? What are they... Hey, wait, what's everyone what flying on? What are these? Moon cannons that have been passed down for generations. We don't have much time. Listen carefully, everyone. These cannons must be fired at the same time or they'll have no effect. The five of us will man the cannons. You two will have the job of handling the ammunition. Ammunition? Inflated enemies should do the trick, right? He's here! Wait, what? What the hell is going on here? Corral, you stay back. Wait, what? Oh, God. Oh, whoa, guy, he's got four eyes. <gasps> he looks like a Heartless from Kingdom Hearts. What the hell is he? Final Vision, the the dream... Wait, Final Vision? Is this the last the last level? And it's a boss, so that means no Dreamstones. <sighs> that sounds amazing to me. Nahatum. He looks like some kind of... He oh my god! Whoa, okay. Wait, what am I what am I meant to do with this? Okay, right. Ah! Okay. Ah! 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 <laughs> ah come on! I'm getting beaten to death by these enemies. He looks like some kind he looks almost like Oh my god! <laughs> That's terrifying! Oh whoa! Hey! What? He has me <laughs> What What the hell? Uh, I got... I was eaten? And I thought that was going to be a one-hit kill then. I was like, I'm totally dead. Uh, I don't know... Jeez. I don't know who I've given cannons. Oh, that one's glowing red, so that must mean that I've... Alright, okay, the ones that are glowing red are the ones that I already have given ammunition to. Oh my god, these moves are destroying me. 
Oh my god, they've got crazy scary faces on them. I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> oh my god. He looks like like he kinda looks like like a big fat crazy heartless genie. Right, so some of these moves are, are uh, crazy fast and armoured. So I have to watch out for them. There they are. They're armoured, <laughs> so I can't get them. Those moves look really evil. Holy god. Oh, but he ripped the armour off when he did that. Okay, so I just have to... Don't. Don't eat me. How do I get rid... How do I avoid this? Ah! 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 Okay, there we go. When he does that- oh no, I threw that by accident. Aww. When he opens his mouth wide like that and the tongue comes flying out, it kind of reminds me of Gengar as well. Gigantamax Gengar. Oh, that reminds me, speaking of Gigantamax. Right, so, um, a little what not too long, well, a few months ago, I finished Pokemon Sword and Shield, which came out. Well, I mean, I guess it actually came out a while ago, but I got to it late. Um, ow. And- Oh no, damn it! Give me that back. And, um, it's funny because the egg of destruction in this game looks an awful lot like the egg that Eternatus comes out of. Like, like they nearly look almost identical. And I'm in here now. Ah! I didn't expect Klonoa to have so many similarities, like, with- Aesthetics to Pokemon. <laughs> oh, okay. But they, they all shot him at the same time. Good. Whoa, what the? <gasps> Wait, what? I only need to fill them once and it kills him? This is weird. This is the most weirdest thing. Oh, I'm being eaten. As a second part to this fight. That, that was definitely the Godzilla raw. Ugh! He's a ghost. I'm sorry, um, but what is Nahatoom? I still don't don't know where this guy came from. Like he was in the Egg of Destruction. Do I throw it just at his face? Nope. So this guy came from the Egg of Destruction. He's a nightmare creature who will will cr destroy all of reality and make reality nightmares instead of dreams. What am I meant to do here? But where did he come from? Like, what's his origin? We don't, like... Gadius just knew of him? Oh, okay, okay. They're in the distance. Like, Gadius knew of him, but it seemed like he'd been sealed away, so... He had been around and been defeated, I guess, by... The... By the residents of the Moon Kingdom beforehand. But... When? And how? How did they defeat him originally? Where did he come from? <laughs> he doesn't seem to... Like, is he sentient? He doesn't seem to have much sentience. Like... Like, he's not... He just roars. He's just monstrous. He doesn't talk. Again, where did this guy come from? Oh no, I've gone this far just to die! Of course things were ambiguous in the second game, but... You still kind of got... I feel like, this again, the lore was just explained a little bit better. Okay, I've got to try and hit this moving thing. While he tries to eye beam me. Eye laser beams. Give me that. Ah, oh, jeez. This is difficult. For my terrible aim! Okay, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, I gotta hit it again. No! What are these little orb things flying around that hurt him when I hit him? Okay. <laughs> he looked quite happy about that, to be honest. He didn't look upset. Oh, no, the, the, the eyes that I was stood on. Oh yeah, I did this inside his belly. He's got- Oh god, he's different again. He's go he is Godzilla. He's got a Godzilla raw. Oh man, that didn't go too well, guys. 
Is everyone alright? Listen to me. We're going to stay outside down here. The floating platform should offer some protection. Whoa, that happened so fast I couldn't read that. We're counting on you two to pass the enemies to us between the platforms. Okay, so you're gonna shoot him again. Still looking a lot like Heartless. These platforms are so pretty. They're so colourful. Oh! Ah, he attacks with rainbows! That's not very nightmarish. <laughs> He's supposed to be a nightmare creature, and yet that's how he attacks. How am I supposed to give these to you? How do I give you these? I can't give these to you if you're down there. I don't know what I'm doing. They're destroying those platforms, but... Oh, I don't... Of all the times where I, I actually need a hint... <laughs> Wait, what am I meant to do here? Ah, there! Okay, that's how you do it. And I died! Yay! <laughs> it's because they, they, they look like they're behind the platforms, not... Not, like in the in-between bit, so it doesn't look like you can get to them by doing that, but you can, apparently. There we are. Ah, I've got an armoured moose, an evil armoured moose chasing after me. Ah! Oh, for God's sake, he knocked me off again. Don't destroy all of them, otherwise I would have no way of beating you. <laughs> ah. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. This isn't... Like, if I just didn't screw up, this wouldn't be all, even be all that difficult. But, you know how it is. Ah, uh, that guy, he keeps getting me. Oh, my God. I'm gonna... I'm getting frustrated at myself for, like, just making the same mistake over and over again. Oh, it's doing something different now. And that, was, that wasn't the, good, the best time to do it as well. Oh, are you kidding me? That freaking armored mood jumped right as I. Now there's two ar there's two unarmored moves now because I accidentally broke the armored moves armor. Oh, for God's sake! And I wasted him. This boss theme is uh, well, it's not too bad. It's got a bit more rhythm to it than some of the other boss themes had, but I still feel like some of the not as supposed to be threatening bosses. I had better themes, which, you know, shouldn't really be when it's your final boss. Your final boss should be, like, the moment to really go ham on the music, you know, but... And this has to be the final boss, surely. You know, Nahatoom, the big bad himself, but... Oh, damn it. But it, this music is... It's like, again, it's not as bad as some of the other themes have been, but... I still think it's kind of sub -path considering the circumstances. Like, if I think of the final boss of Klonoa 2, like, that one had its, like, moment where it really picks up, you know? Is that everyone? Did I get everyone? Now I've got one more! It's that, that other Cabot guy. Oh, don't kill yourself at this stage. It's hard to find him since he's the only one left. Oh, yes, I got him. I got him. I got him. He was the last one, right? I'm gonna assume he's dead. Yes! Alright, this is it, Clemo. We're almost done. What do you mean, almost? What do you mean? To finish him off, you're gonna have to shoot me into Nighting? What? But, Cupid, wait a minute. If I do that, what will happen to you? Don't worry, it'll be fine. I promise we'll always be together. I know we can win this. We just have to make the last shot. Kipo. Okay, let's do it. Uh... Fight it now, Klonoa! 
what? We're shooting. Here we go. We're shooting Cupo into him. Is he gonna like then blow up and then we'll have him captured on the ring? Uh, where do you go? What is this? Like, where even are we? Like, at this, <laughs> like, what is this? Where even are we? Uh, oh, we sh like, what? Did we shoot him in space? Oh, Lafice! A long time no see, Lafice. I like that. She's literally just like a plot point, like, like, she's not spoken a word. We've never even seen her conscious up until this. Thank you so much, everyone. Now all the nightmares have at last disappeared. Whoa, watch out, King, you're gonna fall off there. Why are you all right on the edge? Oh yeah, he's like, properly like, fanboying. He's like, oh, the god, uh, the feast. Hupo. You said we'd always be together. What? We are together, Knoa. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> oh, is he not? We're together forever. No, he's there. Hippo, you're okay. It's fine. Or is this an illusion or something? Oh wait, what's that? Little sun tail thing he has. It, it's okay. I'm just a little tired, that's all. Don't worry, Hupo. I got you. I won't let you go. Isn't his mother just over there? Isn't she like, oh quickly, <laughs> grab hold of him? <laughs> My son like nearly fell to his death. Are you feeling any better today, Hupo? Yeah. You just have to take it easy and rest. After all, you don't have to worry about Nahatum now. Hey, Hupo, listen. I was just wondering, are you gonna go back to the Moon Kingdom? Oh. But we'll see each other again soon, right? Hey, let's go hang out in the field together, like we did before. Listen, Claire. Hmm? Yeah, isn't there, like, stuff you need to tell us? I have to tell you something. You see, you're really... Well... You really don't exist in this world! What? What do you mean? What? We needed to restore a balance of dreams. So I brought you here from your world to help us... What? So Claire is not even from Phantom Isle? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, but it's true. This world that we're in, it isn't a world of your reality. But that's impossible. You're wrong. There's no way that can be true. What was his, his grandpa, though? I mean, I remember my whole life here. I remember when I met you. And how we'd hang out and play together. Well, that's because, because I actually created all these memories for you. But none of it really happened. What? You were just made to think that it all did. I, uh, uh, you're lying. What? Wait, what? That's a lie? That can't be true. You're lying to me. No, it's not a lie. It's the truth. The strange dream that Gaddy has talked about was caused because the reality that you come from is considered nothing more than a strange dream in this world. What? I... It can't be... I thought... What? When Lafice sings her song so the world can be reborn, you won't be able to stay in this world anymore. No way! I, I, I'm not going anywhere! No one's gonna make me go! 
Noah, you don't understand. You don't know how much I wish I could change things. But, oh, Klonoa isn't from Phantom Isle. What? What's that? Wh whoa. Huh? Ah, uh, so he's gonna go to the other world, like he did in the second game. The time has come for you to go back. Back to your Phantom Isle. Oh, so he is from Phantom Isle! No way! But I don't wanna go! I don't wanna go! No. Uh, oh my god. Wait. <laughs> this song is too pretty for this to be happening. So Klonoa is from Phantom Isle, but not from this Phantom Isle. Klonoa from then? I always thought he was from Phantom Isle because I hadn't finished this game. But wait, what? how come he had a grandpa then? His grandpa was a real person because Hupo was obvious because he was murdered by other characters from this world. But was he just an adoptive grandpa? There are other cabots in this world. What's so special about Klonoa as a cabot? Like, he's just the chosen one. Like, it makes sense in the second- What? <laughs> what? That just ends there! Kumiko Watanabe, thank you for providing your Klonoa voice. It is the rightful Klonoa voice. I'm sorry, English voice actors, but it's just not the game for you to be voice acting. <laughs> But uh, I don't know what to feel about this. I uh, what? Kano is the dream traveler. So he came to this Phantom Isle, and Hupo made false memories of him having lived there. So that he would save the world. But. 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 He says that he's not from that Phantom Isle, which implies that he is from Phantom Isle, just a different Phantom Isle? Where the hell does Klonoa come from? Because. Like, it makes sense in the second game because he's like. Outside of one character, he's the only Cabot. And that other character may not strictly be a cabot, but he looks he's like the, the closest looking thing to a cabot in that world. So it's like everyone already knows he's from a different world. But why is it in this world he had to come to this world to save it, but it's also a world that's similar enough to his own where there are others of his species? And why did he, how did he have a grandpa? Did his grandpa have false memories as well to make him think that Klonoa was his grandchild, even though he wasn't? Or did he just, like, adopt Klonoa, knowing that he wasn't his grandchild, but just never told him that he was adopted, even though he was... Oh, I'm so confused! <laughs> even more... Like, this needed more explaining, more law. I don't get it. I'm just... Uh, I just... I... Uh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm super glad that 
I did not have more dreamstones to get. So that was nice. I was having a really good time as well. Oh, it's got my name on the book! That's like the same as the second game. Okay. Sevet. Did, did the getting... I got 150 for every level. Was that... Have I 100 percented? Oh, unlocked extra vision. Costumes? What? Time attack? Oh, that that's probably going to be like a timed boss room thing. Unlocked movie viewer. So this is obviously all the stuff I've unlocked for getting rescuing all the people and getting 150 dreamstones. Unlocked character viewer. Unlocked reverse mode. What? I don't know what that is at all. Okay, cool. Oh! Oh, there's new stuff! Oh, cool. So there is more to do. Oh, character view. Okay, so this this is... What is this? This is an extra vision. Final vision. Final vision? Wait, wait what? Oh, no, no, no. I, that, that was actually the final vision. Right, movie view. That's always going to be to watch more cutscenes. Like, the, the cutscenes just all over again. Character viewer. Don't know what that is. The reverse mode. Okay. So, I've finished the game, but of course, just like last time, there's extra bits to go through, so I'm going to go over... I will do... I will stop now, and then I'll do any ex these extra bits in another video. Um, so, yeah. Oh my god. This is... I think I need some time to process that ending, to be honest, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. It's just, uh, just that that did not make me. That was not a happy ending. <laughs> like in the second game, it's kind of it's more happy. It's sad, but it's happy as well. This one, it just it's just like I guess we saved everyone, so I guess it should be happy. But it's just really, really sad. I feel like the sadness outweighed everything there. Oh, until we finish the extras and actually properly get 100%. See you then.